This right here is my recent purchase. This is a 1995 25 foot aqua sport. It has a aluminum trailer. Just had the axles redone. They're brand new, brand new hubs. Came with a 2007 Suzuki four stroke 300. I only have 2,500 bucks in this thing. And I'll show you the deal that I made on this and how I purchased it. So I went to a car lot to look at a diesel 4Runner and the guy sold it and he had this 1965 Unimog sitting in the corner and I made a deal on it and he threw a military trailer with it and uh, I had the Unimog sitting in my storage lot with the military trailer and one of the guys who parks his boat asked about trading his boat for the trailer in three grand so we ended up just paying 2,500 bucks and throwing in that trailer which is a fantastic deal. Right up. This is the inside it's uh pretty cool the top comes off and the windshield goes forward. There's also a door here and door in the back looks like someone used it to uh, live in here for a little bit this would be a cool little project to convert it to a little camper but i think it was a pretty good deal on my end and we're gonna do a little tour of the boat first thing you could see is the floor the reason why it looks like that is because he had the fuel tank replaced he didn't do a really good job on cleaning everything up it just looks kind of nasty so i'm gonna address that look at this this right here this is the power cable to the engine and he has it just clamped on with this. I mean, it's ridiculous. Looks like live wall. Let's see what else we have down here. Another compartment. We have a door. Look at this. It looks like this thing is only held by duct tape. I mean, you gotta be kidding me. Got wires hanging everywhere, but it's a decent little boat. Inside needs to be cleaned up. Looks like there is like a small tower up here. It's in really good shape. It's not bad. I think this would be a great project. Today, we're gonna go to the store. We're gonna be doing some fiberglass work and we're gonna take our military vehicle. <laughs> Got myself some grinding discs when I try to remove the old fiberglass from the hatch. We gotta find the marine plywood. Is this the one? I think, I think. it's the one underneath. Really we had our plywood pre cut. That's not good. So clean. So we got our uh, lines all marked on the cloth. We're getting it cut up. Now we're gonna take the cloth up, acetone the outside of the fiberglass on the boat, and we're gonna have to mix some resin and lay it on the plywood, then lay down our cloth. Up here. We're pretty much completely done. Just gonna wait till tomorrow until this fully cures up. It's fully dried up and she's hard as a rock. I don't think we did too bad for a first time. This is, this is like, there's no give in the floor. Like, yeah. 
not bad at all we're going to be polishing the boat hull and as you can see i did one area and it looks really good if you look at a certain angle it's basically a mirror shine yeah it's looking good look at that So the paint on the bottom is complete and it's looking really good. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to be installing these LED blue strip around the whole cabin and uh, it should uh, look pretty sweet at night. So right now I'm going to take off this wood trimming piece because I'm going to stain it. So I'm gonna get this cabin cleaned up because I'm going to get all this rust stains out and I'm um, trying to finish this cabin and it's a mess down here. So let's get this cleaned up. be installing blue lights right along the back edge of the boat right here so I went ahead and I picked up these waterproof lights they seem to be pretty well built I'm going to remove the old one get this one on and also this one in the front of the boat I'm going to do a little walk around on the lights starting from the back of the boat yes you could see i have two blue transom lights in the back four leds right there i have more leds around the whole deck in the back and it looks really good at night in the cabin i have a blue led strip light and it just looks great check these out they are nice too. Here is our pad that we're gonna lay down across the hatch cover. And we just have to measure it out onto this cardboard template. I'm gonna cut one out and just make sure it fits. Then I'll trace it onto here. And then I'll cut that out and we'll stick it on there. We've got all our measurements. Uh, we're gonna do like a few points. We measured out different points uh, from basically this side to different areas <laughs> are we gonna eyeball this no just measurement <laughs> So this is what we have. It actually came out really good. This is our first shot and we're pretty happy on how it came out. So the next step is we have to detail the boat, get it all cleaned up and we're gonna paint the deck. Then we're gonna lay this down. So I got a majority of the boat all taped off. I still have the tape uh, in the front but as you can see, it's pretty much ready to go here. And uh, we're gonna be painting these areas gray. And this is gonna match uh, the sea deck that we have that's cut, that's gonna cover the fuel tank cover.
So we just finished putting down the sea deck on top of the fuel tank cover and we took all the tape off of the boat and it looks really good. Couldn't be any happier. It turned out better than what we thought. We're wrapping it up and it's almost done. Oh, these are different style though. I don't like them either. We're gonna do the, the gray, or is that silver or gray? It's like silver and gray. <laughs> or the black ones, I don't know. I think uh, it changes the whole look of the whole boat and trailer. I think uh, it was a very smart move. I know you guys saw me driving this previously in this video. I actually just sold this to the Warner Brothers. They're gonna be using this in, in a movie and I'm actually going to drive it right now. I have a driver waiting to pick this up right now. So I'm gonna go take it over there. So we're finally leaving the location. It's gonna be used in the movie Black Adam if you wanna see that Unimog in there. We're gonna miss it, but it's time to move on. Oh my God. No, this isn't, you know what this is? Is that the floor stuff? Yeah. So we have the old ladder completely gone. Uh, there's a bunch of holes that have the patch on here. And uh, we're gonna run up the store and we're gonna get uh, ladder that will slide right into this bracket and it's just gonna look a lot cleaner than that old ladder that was on here Bro. Ooh, the fancy ladder <laughs> so many parts out here engines oh look a new hood too a mercury 150 geez so we're leaving the salvage yard right now we bought our ladder and we're gonna go home and we're gonna put it on the boat so we're gonna see if we could use our existing bracket hopefully because we don't want to drill additional holes in the transom we're going ahead, we're getting the old bracket removed because the ladder will not work with that bracket. Oh. All right, let's see how this fits. It's pretty sturdy. Oh, that's, not bad. that's not too bad. So the day has come. We uh, are ready to head out here. We're gonna go get some fuel for the boat and uh, we'll see you guys on the water. It took us a while to get here, but it was totally worth it. I'm going to do a little overview of the whole boat and I'm going to go on the inside, starting with the trailer. We put uh, new wheels on there. We painted the bottom of the boat. We've got a new ladder on, put uh, fresh paint in the boat. The motor's been serviced, transom lights, LED lights. I mean, this boat has everything. The gel coat has been polished front to back and she shines really nice. As you can see right here, we have a sea deck that we cut out. We, it has a new floor for the fuel tank cover. There's a live wall, live wall right here. We have LEDs running in the inside of the boat. These are uh, stands for your scuba tanks. We have two on each side and uh, it's just a very clean boat. Hydraulic steering, you have GPS and fish finder. Here's the cabin. There's also LED lights in here. Very clean on the inside. This boat is pretty much fully loaded, four speakers, and it's, uh, it's looking really good. Painted up here. There's a tower up here, it could go up there. And that's pretty much it, it's a very basic boat. 24 and a half foot, plenty of storage spots on here. And we're gonna get ready to put in the water. It's pretty busy here. And we're gonna go for a little trip on this. Wow, look at the line for this boat ramp. I've never seen it this busy. Lots of people are coming in. So the boat is finally in the water. And it is a little windy, but we'll make it work. Free to move around the cabin. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we reached our cru cruising altitude. <laughs> We're here out in Sandbar. So many people. We had zero issues with the boat. It's working amazing. And we couldn't be any happier. We're just enjoying ourselves on it. What do you think, think about the bow so far, Mr. Captain? Well, we stayed afloat today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see the lights. back to the boat ramp it's time to uh, put this boat back in the trailer and we're gonna call it a day I mean this boat looks so good in person for 2,500 bucks I mean what a steal that engine's been running all day it's been running great no issues and uh, I'm just very happy on how this boat came out we got the boat on the trailer and uh, it's time to go home really happy on how the boat turned out we had zero issues it's running great and came out looking good. So if you guys are interested in more boat videos, please stay tuned and subscribe. Thanks for watching. <laughs>